Hello, I'm Bob Moore, and this is our story about the World Altitude Record attempts. We're on the Lounge Road, 40 kilometres northwest of Cobar, and we're just coming up to the Cable Downs Gate. Cable Downs is a 50,000 acre sheep station. Steve and Karen Viant, the owners of the property, have hosted our record attempts for the last six years. This is 2007, day one. Cable Downs was chosen because it's free of air traffic. The current world record for a single kite on one line is 14,509 feet above ground level and was set in the year 2000 by Richard Synergy of Canada. The trailer mounted winch system consists of a capstan and a storage reel. The capstan is driven by a 1 kilowatt electric motor uh, which is controlled by an inverter uh, with its power supply from a 5.5 kilowatt generator. Here you can see the kite at about 500 feet that had been launched about 15 minutes earlier. That day the kite reached 10,466 feet above ground level which was our best ever at that stage. The yellow line on the storage reel is from Taiwan and is 300 pound breaking strain ultra high molecular weight polyester. The kites we use are 120 square feet DT de deltas and are 6 meters wide by about 2.5 meters tall. DT deltas are also known as fast climbers and they have a reputation for outstanding flight characteristics. They have performed exceptionally well during high altitude flights and have tolerated winds of up to 59 knots. Here you see the original black DT Delta flying at 3000 feet. We measure AGL or above ground level. Um, just bringing the kite in now. We've hit 10, about 10,400 10, feet. Um, fluctuating between, well, around 10. Um, it's getting late, the sun's going down, so Bob's decided to call it a day, Bob and Mike are calling it a day, and uh, they're going to start a bit earlier tomorrow, and hope to go above that. But at present, that's uh, certainly the highest uh, in Australia that's, well, recorded height, and uh, Bob reckons the third highest single kite. Um, ever in the world, so uh, recorded that is, uh, with evidence. Uh, okay. Hey Barry, Tom and Hall from England, Bob Moore here from Australia, high altitude science giant. <laughs> we're just, uh, record breaker. Well, yeah, potential record breaker, we've just gone through 10,400 feet, now winding it in, we're going towards the end of the day, need it down before dark, and uh, it's not going up any higher than 10,400 feet, it's pretty heck there, is it? Uh, it's a bit late today, about 12 o'clock, we should have started around 8 o'clock this morning, but uh, you know, first day you have to set them. And, and probably around about uh, one and a half kilometres away, and suddenly uh, uh, everything's going smoothly and the line just snapped. And it looked like it's uh, broken at, at the kite itself, which is fortunate, uh, because it hasn't dragged uh, the kite behind it and, uh, and, and remained in the air for too long, so it's come down uh, reasonably close. We've got the GPS position from the telemetry so uh, we can virtually go to the location and uh, should be able to find it. We should be able to go within a couple hundred uh, or a hundred metres of it which is uh, good enough to, uh, to find it. We'll do that in the morning. The uh, sun is uh, just about to set and um, so we'll pack things up and then come back tomorrow morning at uh, uh, early and go look for it. Of course, we've, um, got to find, we've got to find Mike first, of course. Oh, uh, well, Mike is gone. <laughs> Mike is out uh, in the bush. About. Well, hopefully, uh, Mike will come back. Uh, I'm not going to wind the line in, uh, in anymore. I was winding it in, but... Um, we've still got... Line. How much line have we got out there, roughly? Uh, we've probably got around, uh, I'd say, uh, 1,500 metres of line. OK, mm -hmm. so as long as he's uh, no further than Mike that... a little bit less than that. Might be about 1,200. Should so. be able to follow it in. 
Yeah, could be a kilometre of line being through the bush, but I think I wound in, wound in uh, two or three hundred metres. Okay. Um, so first step tomorrow morning, find the kite? Yeah, because it's got the telemetry on it, but I managed to... Uh, the telemetry actually showed the position uh, just when it got the treetops, so I um, should be able to go uh, reasonably close to it. We've got the, the GPS latitude and longitude. Um, so I had held GPS, and uh, we'll be able to put the uh, position in it and then go to it. Cool. And it's uh, well within the boundaries of the property. Nice one. Yeah. Okay, okay. thanks, Bob. Second day, uh, sun's going down, we sort of run out of daylight really. A um, bit disappointing, we only made uh, 8,200, which is uh, yeah, pretty bad, good, bad. really. But uh, so tired, I was disappointing bro. after yesterday. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm tired of all this uh, I'm flying kite activity. I decided a bit of winching. Uh, I'm going quite slowly at the moment because uh, we were in a fairly strong. Another 50 metres. Just around 500 metres, just about to come to 500 metres. Yeah, we're on uh, day. Three of the record attempt at Sunday, the uh, 8th of um, April, Easter Sunday. And we've had a pretty good day so far, apart from the telemetry uh, not working this morning. So we've had to put a small uh, handheld GPS on the, on the kite and also do the uh, line out calculations to give an estimate. Now we're at 5.30 in the afternoon. It's uh, at about... Um, 45 degrees at the moment flying and the uh, and the kite lines at around uh, around 35 um, the white kite is very extremely easy to, easy, to, easy to see against the blue background we've been able to track it with our eyes we haven't needed the telescope uh, Mike Richards over there is uh, looking through to the uh, theodolite we're just about to get the theodolite reading from the uh, airstrip and then uh, the other surveyor here has gone around to the north station, five kilometres away to the northeast, to take the uh, second reading. They're going to do uh, readings at 10 minute intervals 5.20, 5.30, and 5.40. So we'll get three readings. It's um, climbed up and down, and uh, I lost a fair bit of altitude there before about 3,000 feet. I had to counter winch to get it back up, and now it's flying at ext extremely well. After launch. It went quite well to two or three thousand feet and then we hovered between three and four thousand feet for several hours until finally the wind dropped and ended up in the tree. This is how we got it out of the tree.
Perfect. Here we are on the Monday, Monday 2007. It's day, I forgot, day four. four. Day four, and today was very light winds. Um, bit of thermal, um, calm conditions up high. Very difficult to keep the big car aloft. In fact, the wind down. It's uh, 10,400 feet on the, on the first day. Uh, which is very pleasing. It's well above uh, my previous uh, flight of 6,400. And on the other days, uh, over 8,000 feet on uh, day three, I think, and 9,200 feet on day two. And today so that was the end of the 2007 record attempts. In this picture is Mike Richards, Bob Moore, Barry Coppenhall, Hugh Moore and Ethan Viant. Our next series of attempts was in 2009, but that's another story.